Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to another episode of Saltfish TV. Today, I'm going to go over how I got my lionfish off of live food and what I actually feed him or her. Don't know how to sex him yet. If you know how to sex him, let me know. Comment down below. What do you think? I don't know. Let's get to it. All right, so my lionfish, you know, was super picky, trying to figure out what it wants to eat and I only wanted to eat the live feeder goldfish and I was reading up that it's not good to keep them on you know feeder goldfish because they're quite fatty and not nutritious so in turn it can actually cause liver failure or something and shorten their lifespan pretty much <clears throat> so it's not it's not good for them to be eating feeder fish so I basically just kept putting frozen food or offering frozen food to my lionfish non-stop to you know try and get it to eat it and everything I wasn't shoving it down its throat do not shove food down a fish's throat because that's just cruel and not nice kind of thing you know what I mean so essentially I starved my lionfish for a good uh, three days uh, that's totally normal, completely normal, because especially in the wild, food is not always readily available. So they can go a few days or so without eating, and then they eat as much as they can when they can out in the wild. But we don't want that here in captivity, because they can actually uh, eat too much, and then it won't digest. <clears throat> They'll block their digestion digestive system type deal their intestines and then they'll die so I happen to be in Petco looking in the freezer section and I actually found I found this first I found frozen krill by a San Francisco Bay brand now there's many brands out there and whatnot that do these types of frozen foods of flat packs um, but yeah anyway I found these as well silver sides because I was reading up, hey, lionfish eat silver sides and krill. Try that out. Because I already did the whole, uh, I tried scallops, but those scallops were, you know, for human consumption and everything. So I'm assuming that they didn't smell like, you know, regular food out in the wild. And I think these do. Because as soon as I got home, I tried a piece of krill. It's actually a whole krill. Comes with the beady eyes and everything. You can see the black beady eyes. So I chipped one out, thawed it out, and then I put it in a tank. I waved it a little bit. He got it, you know, excited, checking it out and everything. At first, he wouldn't go after it, so I actually had to let go of it with the tweezers, and I put it in the flow. And the flow helped make it feel like it was, you know, swimming or jerking around like a real live piece of shrimp or something. And it went to town. It gobbled that thing up, and I was excited I was so happy so happy that it actually ate it because that means that we're one step closer to getting off of live food so I was after three days you know feeding it after not feeding it so I ate it good so I left that and then I decided to try uh, two days later because I do like a Monday Wednesday Friday feeding schedule for him or her so these are quite large. These silver sides are quite big. So it has the heads and everything on them. It's a whole fish, essentially. So I, I cut it up into quarters. I sliced it down the middle in half, and then I, you know, and then those in half, you know, in the quarters. So I let it thaw out and everything, and I put it in the water, jiggled it around a little bit. It got excited. I was like, okay, this might happen. This might work. And guess what? It worked. I let go of it with the tweezers and the flow took it and he gobbled it up. That right there tells me my lionfish is off of live food and I no longer have to buy live feeder goldfish. So whatever I have left is getting flushed down the toilet. No, I'm probably just going to let them die. They've been dying in that new tank anyway. Oh well. There's 23 cents. Little minnows. I know. I'm so mean. Anyway. But yeah, so... Essentially, yeah. so essentially what 
what I did was um, offer it the frozen food. Uh, I would say daily, but they don't really eat daily. You should feed them only uh, every other day, so to speak. So I do Monday, and then Wednesday, and then Friday, and then the whole weekend. I let it go until Monday again, you know. So essentially, it's two days and then like a three-day fast, I guess. It, re it helps recreate their diet in the wild. It's, that's all I'm going for, and it works because as soon as you put that frozen piece of food in there, the fish or the krill or what have you, they'll eat it, and it's good for them. It's good in you know the mega threes and sixes, you know fatty acids type deal. It's good for them. It helps them with their color as well. Um, there's many brands out there. I just happen to have that readily available at Petco. I don't have a local fish store to me. So, uh, I mean, there's Rod's Foods. Uh, I hear they're really good. I haven't tried them yet, but I kind of want to. I know they got one specifically for lionfish, or predatory fish at, at least, but they, there's a lionfish on the package. So I kind of want to try that because it has, you know, clams and scallops and things mixed in there. But I'm thinking it probably is going to smell like, you know, fishy fish instead of like for human consumption. That's why I think he didn't like that sliced up scallop that I tried giving him from the frozen food section that we eat. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, just offer up the uh, frozen food. Uh, mine didn't take to it right away. I tried and had to keep getting the frozen food out, throwing it away, and then putting in a, a, you know, a ghost shrimp or a feeder goldfish. And then I would just keep trying and trying. It took maybe uh, three weeks? No. Maybe a month now. Has it been a month? It's probably been a month. Three weeks to a month. I'm, I'm bad with time. Anyway, just have some patience, you know. Um, just do what you got to do. Keep your animals happy and alive. That's all I care about. That's all we care about in this hobby, right? You want to do the best for your animals. Well, guys, uh, I hope I hope this was good enough for you. Uh, that's that's what this is what happened with me and my lionfish, and what worked for me and my lionfish. But uh, like I said, just keep trying. Have patience. Uh, don't get frustrated. I was getting a little frustrated at first, but then I was like, you know what? It's fine. He'll eat. Because it, as long as it was eating something, I was okay with that. It's when they stop eating, it's when you gotta worry. That's when you gotta worry big time. Something's probably gonna go wrong by then. Alright, anyway. Anyway. Well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, give, give me the thumbs up. You know? Help support this channel by subscribing. And... Hit the bell notification uh, icon and click all so you know exactly when and where and who and what, why I upload. It'll tell you. It'll say, hey, Selfish TV uploaded. Okay, anyway. Uh, there's going to be an icon somewhere around here. Uh, you can click that to subscribe. Or there's going to be some videos popping up bottom of the screen somewhere. Somewhere. Alright, guys. Well... Hope you enjoyed this video. Saltfish TV, out.